How you guys doing? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. Today we are at Home Depot picking up materials for yet another stand build. So today we're going to show you how we plan to build our stand for a 600 gallon aquarium. So here we have the tank we are going to be building the stand for. Like I said, it is a 600 gallon bow front. It is eight foot long and three foot at the widest point on this bow. So basically today we're gonna take you through how we are going to improvise and build a wood stand for this massive bow front aquarium. So we're gonna go outside and we're gonna start cutting up some wood to prep for this and then I'll start explaining to you guys. So here we have the piles of wood pre-cut. He wants to stand at 27 inches so he can fit an FX5 under it and it'll bring it up to match the top of his 750 sitting over here. So he went, went ahead and cut all these uh, center support pieces at 24 inches and as we go through we will go ahead and explain everything as we are putting it together. So here's our crazy idea. We're going to do a 2x6 wall down the back. We're going to have, of course, the center supports here. And then another 2x6 wall going down this whole front. We are marking them every one foot on center. There's going to be a 2x6 basically structure that's, you know, 24 inches tall. And then we have this bow right here, which it comes out another 7 inches to the front of the bow. And what we're going to do, crazy idea, I know but we are going to use a two by eight and we're gonna mark it and then we're gonna use a jigsaw to cut it out and then we're gonna go ahead and support in between all the way down and then screw it to this structure. So you can see what we're doing here. We're attaching basically these 24 inch pieces to that piece that we just marked out every one foot on center. Besides the center right there, we went ahead and did a, uh, a door so he can get his filters in and out. You can go ahead and tighten it up. Now we're going to attach the other 8 foot board to the bottom and this will be one wall completed and then we get to do the exact same thing on the back side. So looking at one wall complete, as you guys know we went ahead and met measured so our distance is the same on each board. Now one other thing you want to make sure happens is you look under here and you want to make sure that your board is completely square so you're not you know, putting in crooked supports so we did that all the way down evenly spaced now we'll show you what happens with this header there there is a access hole here so we're gonna uh, support this up just a bit more and beef it up but we'll show you that later so here we have it both the front wall the back wall is done we went ahead and got the two little side pieces in and now it's starting to come together and you can start seeing the shape of this stand but now we're gonna to have to start screwing everything together and actually making it structurally sound. So we're gonna go ahead and toenail each of these sideboards in to each of the front and back panel. Same thing on that side. But to go ahead and uh, reinforce these corners, we're gonna add more boards in here. So the whole width of this two by six is going to catch and we can screw into it. So essentially what you're gonna have here is screws going in, catching the side of the front and the back wall. And that's gonna be in all four corners now one thing you always want to know, on this tank we are not doing it, but say on this 750 that was you know 40 inches wide, you guys can see we have the stand here and then we have another 2x6, that was actually a platform that we built to span the tank to hold up the bottom and there was a piece of sheathing over top. So everywhere we had a joist, you also want a column coming down because that's where your, your, your uh, weight's going to be distributed. So if you have a a board here, you don't want it on the mid-span. It would be much better if it was centered over these 2x6s because it gives you a direct distribution of weight straight to the floor. <laughs> Having trouble there, Clinton? I got new boots, all right. 
Give me a break here. These are the joys of building a stand that you just get to laugh at your friends while you watch them fall over trying to screw the stand together. <laughs> well, there we go, this side's coming together. As you can see, it just pulls that stand right together. Now we are going to do some reinforcing. That'll come in time. So we are all screwed together. It is all toe nailed in, looking pretty nice. But let's go ahead and give you a little look-see at the strength of the stand. Not bad? There you go. That's how a stand's supposed to be. You pick it up, it is just a big frame. If you engineer it correctly, you're gonna have one sturdy piece of uh, cabinetry here. But there's still a lot more work that needs to be done with this stand. And we will show you guys as we progress along. So we had to make a little modification to the stand because he is going to use this overflow. You can look down in there and see that there's four holes there. He's gonna go ahead and seal off that one, use this one with the plumbing. So we had to make the stand fit it. So what we did was we turned this support sideways and uh, we went ahead and rolled with it. So now it's plumbing. It's gonna come down right through here and we should be good to go. Now, like I said, with some modifications, we are now going to take two more of these supports and we're going to put them right here and right here just so we can distribute some more of that weight. Here we have it. The center supports are in, so we made it to where the inside door is flush with these inside supports. An FX5 or FX6 can fit between here and will fit under it. We did the same spacing on each side, so when he does decide to move and open up this overflow, he can do the same sort of cutout here, which will be done at another time. But the more that we screw this stand together, the more sturdy it is. We are using three and a half inch uh, deck screws to go ahead and pull this all together. Make sure you're using the green ones and not the yet yellow ones. You will uh, thank yourself in the long run. But now this is basically the the back side of the tank, so it'll basically go from here to there. Now the hard part comes and we gotta start working on this little boat piece. And then we'll start uh, getting this thing all together. And then the tank can, you know, go up on the stand. So moving on to this bow piece, you can see, so where this two by six is, is basically where the front of this stand will be. And we're lining up right here. So we get, went and got a two by eight and it basically just made it now we're going to basically go underneath and we're going to draw the radius on this board on each side and then we're going to go ahead and take a jigsaw and we're going to go ahead and cut this out and we're going to do that for the top and the bottom and then we're going to worry about bracing in, in between. So in the middle we can use 2 by 8s on the, the mid spans we can use 2 by 6s and then on the ends we have 2 by 4s for that. So watch as we progress along here. So you can see here, here's that mark all the way down. Now we're going to go ahead and use the jigsaw and try and cut this out. So here we have it, we went ahead and cut out the radius on the bow front and we made a complete carbon copy. Now we are getting ready to frame it out and make it a whole front wall. Then we can attach it to the whole front of the stand. So here we go. These three to so here we have it. You can see the stand's finally starting to go ahead and shape up. But let's go ahead and flip this up and show you what we did here. Which we're not done bracing this, but this was just to get it secured in place. So like I said, right here on the very edge, we did a 2x4 here, then a 2x4 here, and then we're going to progressively go up. We're not going to space it one foot on the front because on a bow front, that, that is the point on the tank that has the, the most pressure. So we're going to do a little bit beefier bracing going across here. So we got the 2x4s in place just to hold the, the structure. 
And now we're going to go back with 2x6s and 2x8s and slowly wrap this thing together. And then we can tie it into the whole front of the stand. And then we can work on sheeting this beast. Look at that. We are almost done with this. They are all screwed in. Now, mind you, this is pressure treated. We used on the front, so they could handle a little bit more weight. And they, they are spaced a little bit less than one foot. And of course we have, uh, there, here's the space we put in here to take up space. He's going out to grab some smaller screws now. But the last thing we have to do is basically reinforce these openings on both this piece and that piece right there. And then we can start working on plywood and tying this to it. So now we flip the stand on its backside and we're getting ready to start drawing screws in, actually uh, lag bolts, and then we're gonna drill through the face this front and basically tie it in to the framing of the first stand that we built. So here we go. Go on, screw her in. Now what this does is it makes this whole front secured to the back of the stand. And you guys can see it's got a nice row to it not all jagged and looking all non-professional it's actually pretty nicely done you just got to take your time and slowly but surely you'll have a beautiful stand coming together and as you can see here we measured and these insides line up perfectly everything is nice and square same thing here now we just got to make make a little header in here which we'll show you after a while so we are done tying everything together what we did here with this whole uh, access hole we went ahead and put a, another header piece up here we used a 2x12 pressure treated so it can get both joints at a, at a time and we put another shorter um, piece in here to be able to support it so now that the weight gets distributed over there it has just an extra barrier to be able to support this now he has an access hole to come in but now we're ready to move on to plywood so here we have it. The stand is looking pretty nice. Oh, he's jumping on it. <laughs> Always wanting to play with his new toys. But yeah, this stand came out a lot better than I anticipated. This is the first ever bow front stand that I've built, that we've built. And you can look right down on there. There is no bows, no nothing like that. Well, there is a bow across the front, of course, but... <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, coming along nicely. Now, since he's going to tie it in with uh, cabinetry like his other tanks up here, we are not going to sheath the front of it. So uh, normally with rectangle stands like this, you usually sheath the, the outside so you can tie the stand together that much more and you don't get any sort of swaying or nothing like that. But we are going to sheath the top with a sheet of plywood and then he's going to come back with cabinetry and sheet the whole front side after the tank's on and after it's set that up, of course, because he's still got to figure out which kind of cabinetry he wants to use. But we built it to where the, the stand will be self-supporting as is. It will be plenty enough strength. So let's go ahead on to plywood, guys. All right, so the stand is done. How, how are you liking it, Clinton? I like it. I think it's nice. <laughs> just nice. We threw this stand together in just a few hours. But you using the, the tips and the knowledge that we have, you can pretty much build whatever stand that comes to mind. We did just get done finishing the stand. We screwed down the plywood. We cut the hole for the overflows. Now the stand is complete. We're getting ready to lift this bow front and put it up onto its stand. But you guys are, however, not going to see that on today's video because this was strictly about building a stand. So I hope you guys... Uh, took some tips and pointers away from today's video and building a stand it is structurally sound and this baby ain't going nowhere so uh i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys want want to see more awesome projects like these be sure to hit that subscribe button and let us know in the comments what other types of how-to videos you guys would like to see but as always stay fishy my friends